the start to this fucking day. Holy shit. I was going to go and do my usual morning routine shit. And then Bungie decided, oh, we're just going to drop the trailer now. I think it was now anyway. Because I was just scrolling. I saw Rick Hackus uploaded like, they leaked the new season early. I'm like, ah, oh, no, I won't bother watching that till later on. And then just literally right after that recommendation was season of the haunted trailer. It's like, bro. So what I'm going to do, uh, hopefully there's no copyright music in it. Uh, even if there is, I hopefully will be able to just organize it anyway. Because uh, I know Bungie will know that like people will be reacting to it on like streams and making videos of it. So, yeah. I'm going to react to it now. I'm going to give my few thoughts in the morning. I'm going to do my bits, come back later, and give some more thoughts whilst playing uh, Life is Strange. So, yeah. Let's get into the shit. Oh, it's the Leviathan! The Lunar Pyramid stirs to the Leviathan's call. It manifests Yo. our deepest regrets. Oh, and the fucking Shadow Yokes are back. Oh, wow. Where once we banished the nightmares, a new terror rouses them from their slumber. Oh, that was like Callus's like, reward room. We will not cower in fear of nightmares. Oh, what? Well, we gotta put Oh, Paris, you alright? Oh, those helmets are so cool! With open eyes. Is that like a dungeon intro? Oh, pro! Title? To call the. Oh, it's solar. There's no way you can't tell me it's not solar now. I mean, you could do that before with grenades, but yeah. Oh, that, is that a new artifact? Or a new uh, relic? There's definitely a lot of new solar abilities they're showing us. Oh, that finger snap is so cool. I think the Cabal here are definitely different colors anyway. Yeah, they're the loyalists. Oh, that's Trespasser. Magnificent. Oh, that's such a cool ship. It is the beginning Hi, oh, you right? of the end. Yeah, that is cool, whatever that is. That's the nightmare of the machinist, I think it was. Oh, is that like Galran's helmet as well in the back, like the crown? Holy shit, right. Well, fucking hell, I wasn't actually expecting that. Okay, we actually have the Leviathan. Um, so let me turn it down a bit now. And let me just play it through a bit. So I can start describing this a bit. So obviously, main premise, it's on the moon. And now you can see the Leviathan from the moon. Just over here. Actually, let me turn on subtitles as well in case Eris is talking. Now, I wonder though, oh, I just realized as well, the sun now here, and there's no spire, but there's a sun and it's blue now instead of uh, orange or yellow. I don't know if they will, but would, I actually really hope they'd at least introduce one of the raids back from this. Because it's kind of weird, like, if they brought this back but didn't bring back the thing. And I'm assuming, like, maybe not like a patrolable area, but this will be like a mission area where you do missions on the Leviathan. Now, I must say, I knew something like this was going to happen as well, where, like, if they reintroduced the Leviathan, they were going to have to introduce it, like, on a different planet, maybe, just to be like, yeah, no, Nessus is, like, old news, so might as well do it somewhere else. And obviously they chose the moon, which, if the Leviathan starts eating the moon, that's going to be bad for our planet, like, I'm not going to lie. Unless that's, like, where the story's going now. We have to somehow destroy the Leviathan before it, like, blows or consumes our moon. But, um... Yeah, very bold of Callus to just come straight back into the system, like, after the Glycon stuff, like, nearly a year ago by now, I think. And, um, yeah, that, that's all I could say for now, until we play a bit more. And I'm assuming, I don't know whose ship that is, but I thought it'd be, like, Kyle's or something. Unless that's, like, unless the helm is an actual ship and the helm's now operational and flying. Now, I must say, this kind of shot looks really cool. Especially, like, with Earth beside it as well. But you could just see, like, the fucking red coming from the inside of us now instead of the orange. Which means, like, maybe, like, the Leviathan is consuming something else. Because it is all corrupted looking and whatnot. So, there is that. So, 
The lunar pyramid stirs things called. So that means the pyramid must have, like, some connection to this, obviously. Because obviously it's darkness and, like, Callus has aligned himself with the darkness and shit, according to lore, so. It's so cool seeing this door and all this shit and now seeing it all, like, corrupted and stuff. And now, I don't think they'd, like, corrupt the raids. I think the raids will stay the same. Like, if they did br bring one or all of them back. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm just wishful thinking. I don't f I don't really think they're going to actually bring that back. Because imagine if they brought back, like, um, one of the raids. And then they had, like, the dungeon on top of that. Like, that. that's just like, whoa, okay, that's a lot. Like, because you're already bringing back, like, the Leviathan, you know? It manifests our deepest regret. Manifest our deepest regrets. Let me head back a bit. So obviously this is like the boss room that's been used a few times for various different activities. And obviously those are the shadows, which again means that the... Like when Eris makes that tie to the pyramid, it actually does tie in right here, obviously. Um, yeah, actually that's all I could really say about that. This really gives me high Glycon vibes just because, like, that's how it looked. But obviously, it's still all in Callus's thing, which is so weird to see. It's just all, like, now just corrupted. Oh, wait. I think there was something in there. <laughs> He's holding the fucking what looks like flesh shit. Oh, is that? Hey. Wait, is that? No way. Is that Callus himself? Oh my god, I think that's Callus himself. Because that doesn't look like a robot. That actually looks like an actual live being. Obviously, we can't tell because it's just a like a flash. But, like, that must be, right? you think he would look a lo lot more corrupted, but... Oh, no, it's a robot. Never mind. I just noticed this shit. Fuck. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Because I noticed the robots in the back as well. Sorry. Sorry. But still, I wonder why they would just zoom in. Oh, shit. Wrong one. Why they just zoom in on that? Unless it is to imply that we'll be getting the things back eventually, the raids. Where once we banished the nightmares. Where once we banished the nightmares. And then here's what I was talking about earlier, where like the portals in Callus's uh robot collection, Yoki. I like how he leaves them all on smile. Cause I, I swear they look like they were smiling. Oh yeah, and also another new note, uh, scoring on the Leviathan, which was pretty obvious, but I thought I'd just mention it anyway. Is there, I don't think there was anything else there, I don't want to, yeah, never mind. Okay, I swear there's something flashing in between there. Okay, no, I think it's just the game trying to be, or the editor trying to be funky. Trying to be funky, funky. Arouses them from their slumber. Every time they do that, I have to check just in case. Nah. Gardens. In fear of nightmares. We will not cower in fear of nightmares. So I'm assuming this is like the um, seasonal artifact. And we're, oh my god, this reminds me of a kind of like ghost journalist investigation kind of shit. Where like there's four of you and you're just using a Ouija board to try and summon like Cthulhu or something like. I wonder if there's any significance to the way like this fan diagram is. Savala, Crow, yourself, and Eris. I think there was also, like, Keitel and all that as well. That we see later in the trailer. I'm trying to think. Where is that? I don't think so. Still somewhere in Leviathan, anyway. Okay, so... Something's happening to the magnifying glass artifact yoke. And then Eris gets, like, risen. Like, even everybody else is just like, what the fuck's happening? This shit is really... Oh, there's a trace rifle! And look at that ghost as well. Wait, is... I thought... I think people were saying that was meant to be the trials ghost, but I think that's just actually just, like, the thing goes. Unless they're two separate ghosts, and I'm stupid, I'm sorry. But those are so cool, man. Like, bro, I might actually have to change my mask to the skull, red skull. Like, it's just so cool. Whoever designed this set loved the thorn set and loved skulls. I, I admire this. This is good shit. Oh, and there's even a new glaive as well, I think. And obviously Trespasser right here. I think it has an ornament on it as well. That is so cool to see. I wonder if the trace rifle is going to be like stasis or something, or is it just like another legendary like solar one? Maybe even arc? Maybe solar, because like solar is the new subclass this season. Oh, wait, and there's three different ghosts. One's hidden behind here. 
This one kind of looks Savathun-ish, like Hive Ghost Savathun, which if it is, that's kind of cool. Can we see this one? No, we can't see it. It's just hidden underneath, but it has like a little uh, trail effect behind it. It's <laughs> just new Eververse cosmetic trail. But yeah, that's really, I don't know how the fuck I did not know it was a new Trace Rifle, man. I'm so, like, idiotic. And confront. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, is that... Is that, like, a shadow of Savala's wife? Oh my god, if that's a... If that's Savala's wife as, like, a nightmare, that's gonna be so interesting to see, like... I'm not gonna lie. Then we have Crow... Is that... That's probably Aldrin, right? I'm assuming... Oh no, I think that's Mara, because the shadow's leaning sideways. Oh wow, that's a really dark scene. Now what about ourselves? Oh no, that's no that's ours, yeah. I'm assuming this joke takes us into like a nightmare realm or some shit and like we start fighting nightmares off. I never thought we'd go back to the nightmare thing, but yeah. It's such a pity as well, because I think after this year all the like shadow keep shit's gonna be deleted except the raid, I'd say. And uh Oh, you know, there was no dungeon with it, I don't think. Just the raid. <laughs> That's all you get. The raid and the fucking moon. Right, do we see anything here? Answer, no. I don't think so. I don't see anything that pokes out. Other than new auto rifle, hand cannon. I can't tell. Oh, Keitel's facing... A shadow of herself, I think, or maybe a shadow of like some other cabal, um, that was talked about before. That's cool as well, though. How like each shadow is like now representative of like their actual like nightmare, and I wonder like if our character is gonna have anything because they didn't show our character appearing up. They basically just showed everybody else having like problems. Yeah, you see Savala here. Wait. Yeah, that is Aldrin. That is 100% an Aldrin shadow. Crow looks like he's kind of smiling that. De don't relink too hard with your past. You've already got your memories of him, like. Okay, was there any... I don't think there was. Yeah, no, this is just the old uh, gauntlet area. Weapons. Okay, I'm assuming SMG... Or no, is that Scout, I think, the Warlock has. Right. Was that always glowing? I feel like that was not always glowing. I don't know. Oh. It just... What was that that exploded behind? It wasn't just a shield yoke. Oh, is that... Wait. Is that the, um... Menagerie weapon? Like a Menagerie fusion rifle? It kind of looks more like Menagerie than the new season. Unless I've already pointed that out and it was, like, stupid not to say thing. But yeah, honestly, it's just, I don't know how you could look at all this shit and not tell me that Solar's the next thing. Imagine if they did, though, they pulled a fast one on us and we're like, ah, uh, yeah, no, actually, it's just Ark. We were just previewing some Solar stuff for the season beyond. But yeah, it, this is so cool. So the Warlock snaps his fingers. It looks like the Hunter, did the Hunter do like a flip or some shit? Oh, no, it's just his cape went up in the air. Uh, obviously, the Titan still has his hammer, but I think the hammer slightly changed. It's got like a longer back to it. So you see... Flick. And then you got the hunter's knife, which looks more elegant. I don't know if that's like on purpose or not, but yeah. And then you have Titan doing that. It goes up and back in. So that means it's just the same one. Oh, is that? That looks like the reissue of the Maida mini tool, I think. Or no, not mini tool. The Oh, what's that sidearm called? It's not Maida. It's something else. It goes with the DFA hand cannon. Because they're bringing that back. So they would have to bring this back as well. This is definitely a reissued one of that. And it kind of makes sense now that I think about it. Why we're on the Leviathan and stuff. Oh man, it'd be so mad actually if they brought back Menagerie. I think I'd love that. Let's see, what have we got? It's just a normal... Oh, there's two... oh, it's two grenades together. I just noticed that now. So maybe it is a new grenade type. I thought like it was the same as normal. Just shows it blowing up some scorn. Sniper? Oh yeah, that's beloved, isn't it? Yeah, wait, shit, that's beloved. Holy shit, they're actually bringing back beloved. That's mad. After they brought it back as a thingy weapon, and now they're bringing it back again as like just a normal sniper. Oh, six-player activity. Wait a minute. It's just like on the Leviathan. Six-player activity, not a raid. 
menagerie question mark? <laughs> I I could only hope, honestly. Oh, yeah, and uh, some of the score in here, obviously, nightmare. I think I've already pointed that out. That looked different. Wait a minute. Oh, the hunter could put down a little healing yoke of the looks of it, or a buff yoke. Because, see, the titan swings into it, do something. And then the titan, sw like, slides and presses, I guess, the attack button. And then slams back down. Was that the hol uh, hollow fire chest he had on as well? I don't think it was. Oh my god, it looks it looks chunky. I'm I'm inclined to believe it's the uh, Twilight Garrison. The so yeah, no, that finger snap is so cool. You become an eater of fear. Yeah, you could say eater of worlds. Oh wait, never mind. There's the Mida mini tool. I lied. I knew I wasn't <laughs> wrong. There was something about it. Right. Glaive, is that the old glaive? Yeah, no, that's the exotic one. I guess they just want to showcase that because, like, you know, it'd probably be a lot better now this season, especially with all the new solar shit they're adding. There's Trespasser back in the flesh or in the gun. I'm assuming it's just like a seasonal exotic or something, or maybe a quest exotic. Now, take a look at that, man. Holy shit. Bro, that's so good. Do we ever even get a void ship? I swear we didn't right unless i'm tripping but that's really cool gives me like batman vibes and like well obviously fiery vibes fire nation vibes wait i saw something new more new ghosts okay, let me see if we can stay there can't see that one's too bright that one looks like the face of a scorn i'm not gonna lie with some darkness stuff oozing from it, and then that looks like another thingy ghost, maybe another hive ghost replica. It is the beginning. They're in a bubble together. Of course, he's holding the hand cannon. Yeah, of course he would. Good detail. Wait, was something coming out? Or no, I don't think so. I think that's just the moon doing its things as usual. End. Yeah. Is that an exotic, actually? Or is it a super? I don't think it's a super, because it'd be more flamey. Because if... There's no way. Is they, Would they Would they really add another new, like, archetype? Like, in the next season? Because it looks like it's from the uh, pyramid as well. But if it is, that is so cool, man. I, bro, I can't wait to get my hands on that. It's so weird to see Cabal fighting with the Scorn and shit. Oh, no, maybe it's a... Maybe it's like the axe. Maybe it's just a relic, actually, now that I think about it. But then again, that would mean there's, like, two different relics. Unless, like, the first relic is just, like, a rally flag, and that one's the actual, like, relic you can use during the activity. But yeah, can we also mention... Oh, wait. Eris is up here looking menacing. And then we have Zavala's wife. Aldrin. I'm assuming... Oh, is that... I think that's Gaul. Is she afraid of Gaul or some shit? I think that's Gaul. And then obviously with Galran's helmet, which looks like it's going to have like a big play in this season as well. Destiny 2, Season of the Haunted. May 24th to May 23rd. So this obviously confirms that like, we're not going to be getting uh, the DLC this year. Obviously, that was pretty obvious, I know. But I thought I'd just mention it again anyway. Because like, you know, they released the... <laughs> like, Witch Queen this year, so that means we're going to get the next one next year, just in case people were doubting that. Right. Okay, one more time. This time, I'm just going to, like, look at the subtitles, read the subtitles, and then I'll leave it there. Actually, let me turn it off. Still don't know what that ship is, by the way. That's kind of annoying me. Right, let's continue. The lunar pyramid stirs to the Leviathan's call. The lunar pyramid stirs to the Leviathan's call. It manifests our deepest regrets. Okay, it manifests the deepest regrets. So, if anything, I don't think we'll see Callus immediately. I think it'd be like a season or yeah, season finale kind of thing. 
where once we banished the nightmares. Like we did in Shadow Cave. And then the nightmares have come back because we something else brought them back. Cower in fear of nightmares. Which is why we're playing the Ouija board. We'll rise to meet the enemy and yeah. confront our darkest fears with open eyes. Heads have open arms are open eyes. So wait, now that I think about it, is there some like big stuff that happened between Saval and his wife and that's why like she died? Or is there like more to it? Because like in the lore, it's like, um, what was it? Like she was basically just mortal. So she basically just, I think she just died of old age. And that's why Zavala was like, I'm never really getting a partner again. Because it's just like, what's the point getting a partner if they're not a guardian as well, you know? So that's some dialogue during the activity, I assume. Begin the harvest, and so you become an eater of fear. It's so weird how, like, imagine if this lined up with like Festival of the Lost. That would have been so like good. Like, imagine Season of the Haunted on the Haunted Moon doing Haunted Lost Sectors during uh, Festival of the Lost. Like, bro, all would have been so cool. That's probably what they intended to, but like obviously the restraints and stuff and yeah. DLC coming out like later. I have to just be silent. Oh, there we go. No, never mind. I have to be silent until Eris actually starts speaking. Okay, let's be fair. How many times have we been told it's the beginning of the end and it's never the beginning of the end? It is just the beginning of the long-winded excuse of the end or something, you know? Like, like, when is it just like, when have they ever not said it's beginning of the end? Like, even, I think they even started saying that in fucking Curse of Osiris, like, where, like, Osiris is like, if we don't defeat Panoptes, it'll be the beginning of the end. It's like, sure, everybody in that universe knows that it could be, but, like, we're just like, yeah, cool. Um, we've been told this, like, ten times, but, like, is it actually, though? <laughs> you know? Right, before I go, I just thought of something absolutely spectacular, right? How about I go to Bungie.net and we have a little peek at what it says on the webpage. Now, I never usually do this, but because I'm streaming, I don't mind taking the extra bit of time to just, like, go over a few things on stream. <coughs> right, so obviously if you don't want to be spoiled more than the trailer, then click away. But as a person who still has a Destiny channel, I still feel a bit obliged to at least get this up onto the channel sooner and later. So, Leviathan's return, power, depravity, vengeance. The object of Callus's desire has taken many shapes over the years. His once opulent ship, now derelict and corrupted, has returned to our galaxy. Its sights set on the pyramid ship lying dormant on the moon. Oh, is he trying to get into the... Is he trying to use his Leviathan as a staging thing to get into the pyramid and become the like disciple of the witness or some shit? I didn't think he was actually going to eat the moon or eat the pyramid or maybe eat the pyramid question mark. I don't know. But that means he's definitely not eating the moon if he's going to do thing unless he panics. He's like, right, I need to eat the moon away so I can get into the pyramid. A ghost of our past. As the Leviathan forms a connection with the pyramid, nightmares of the past awaken and threaten to torment any who dare intervene. Stare into the abyss and find bravery within the mantle of the reaper and the steel of the scythe. So, yeah, that's definitely an artifact. It's not like an exotic rib. It makes sense, though. We just got, like, the new Glaive ar Architect, like, last time, so. Luna's Ward. To better respond to the imminent threat, the Helm has engaged its mobile command center capabilities and is now running dark within the moon's orbit. Oh, my God. It is a fucking ship. I Also, what we saw at the start, that was literally just the fucking Helm. That's so weird. 
there's Kaito's thing. Kaito's forces. Ah, yeah, see, here's Galran's helmet. It's all, like, gold now. <laughs> Become the Reaper. So, yeah, the all oh, yeah, makes more sense now. Because we're reaping, the like, uh, Nightmare Souls and shiz. It's so funny how all this started appearing when I'm already playing, like, a ghost game with my, uh, like, mates. So we got Scalable Activity Nightmare Containment. Just give me a sec. As I blow my nose. Well, not really. Just wipe my nose. Uh, so Scalable Activity. I have no clue what that means, but yeah. Evil resonates within the hull of the Emperor's wretched vessel. Summon the most challenging nightmares and cleanse them with fire. By Scalable, I hope that means that this is, like, a zombie mode. Like, you know, like a Black Ops kind of zombies mode where, like, they constantly just, like, come in until everybody dies or some shit. I think that would be really cool. And they have the weekly mission Sever. Navigate the Leviathan's Labyrinth, Labyrinth Labyrinthine Underbelly. Uncover the truth behind Callus's sinister plan and ser sever the nightmares he controls. <laughs> we're severing more shit. So, first we were severing Hive Guardians, now we're severing fucking nightmares. Nightmares and Splendor. Trespasser. There it is. Wield Shiro 4's exotic sidearm and set, let lightning flash across the tarnished gold of the Leviathan's twisted halls. Yeah, so I knew I wasn't... So we're getting... Oh, fuck. What's the hand cannon called again? Ah, I, I know it was really good. That's the Maida one. That's the Stur... No, is it Sturm and Drang? Yeah, the Sturm and Drang one. And then that's the Beloved. Obviously, if they bring back classics. Oh, that rocket launcher looks kind of cool. But yeah, no, I knew. Oh, yeah, so we're already getting a glaive, which is cool. Is there any reason th those bullets are there? I mean, last time we didn't get bullets in the last screen. <laughs> Unless it's just, I don't know, rocket shots or some shit. Yeah, that looks like a pulse, actually, from its design. But yeah, a trace and a glaive. That's so weird to see. Oh, and we get, like, an Eris Morin set, like, probably as the seasonal yoke now. Man, that brings me back to the Destiny 1 days of getting, like, Eris armor. It's been a while. Oh, wait. Oh, I, do I... Oh, yeah. Each of them have their own thing. So, first we have the Trespasser. Opulent weapons. Reap a host of legendary arm armaments and fabled weaponry last seen within the Emperor's coveted collection. Uh, seasonal weapons. Hauntingly beautiful weapons to, that obliterate nightmares so swiftly you'll think you're dreaming. And seasonal armor. Uh, oh, wait. What is that? Yeah, no, that's in the activity, I think. Ghostly glowing guardians carrying the light into the shadows of the moon. You are the nightmare, your enemies fear. Yeah, but look at that. That's the season pass shit. That looks so cool. Especially, like, the darkness effect coming from it. Like, they're upping their game with the fucking legendary ornaments. Like, if they're starting to do that shit. Because they did it last time with the raid armor. Where the raid armor moves. And it's just like, bro. Gear XP rewards. Get the season pass and lock. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Instant exotic. Uh, so, unleash un repentance with Trespasser's Catalyst and it's Nightmarish Rank 100 Season. That's really cool. I knew that looked different. That is so cool. The armor is so cool as usual. <laughs> and just exotics. <clears throat> in the helm as well. It'd be so cool if we start seeing like nightmares in the helm, honestly. <laughs> Let's see. Don't like that. Oh. Oh yeah, can't Joe, you can't view the finisher here, like you're gonna have to wait. Okay, I'm gonna call out if there's anything of no. Actually, what was that? Oh yeah, it's just transmat. I think it was a scorn effect. Seasonal weapon, I assume. Oh, that looks like a cool sparrow. It's all like skeletal and stuff. Notice how like all the um symbols are like Galran. Like he's definitely gotta appear at some point. There's that exotic ghost. That looks cool. It's not like a thing one. It's more like of a night theme, but it's still really cool. And there's the armor set for Eris. You know, actually, I was expecting... Hmm. Do you get the... Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. You collect the thing set, and then you put... Like, you can get the ornaments. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. A new emote with a... What looks like a... Ex eh, not a... <laughs> fucking... What you call it? <laughs> Cabal, Scout Rifle, Slug Rifle. Slug Rifle, we'll just say Slug Rifle, I can't remember his name. Sky Burner himself, never mind. Oh, two. We get two there. Oh, three. Did we get that many before? I feel like that's new. 
bro look at the look at this ball dude look at him so cool though then we got the exotic emote and stuff as well obviously if you want to read that real quick i'm just gonna skip past it solar 3.0 my mate is crying right now because he he was so determined to say ah it's just like gonna be like arc because everybody says it's solar but no it's solar Solo becomes the latest subclass to receive a complete redesign empowered by the ultra-customizable Aspects and Fragments system. Light the flames of creativity, discover new builds, and prove that there's never a bad time to fight fire with fire. Oh, that's so cool. Just the warlock holding, like, basically a sun. The hunter holding his flaming knife. And this is, like, I'm guessing the new Eververse ornament set as well, because it has the, like, that uh, set reminds me of the Void one. Then the Titan's just holding his fist. Befriend these incandescent priests and find rest restoration. Oppose them and glimpse annihilation within the reign of a shattered dawn. A radiant duelist who live with in blinding displays of dexterity and skill. Beware the truth of their aim and the molten edge of their blade. Siege engines powered by the fury of undying suns. To confront them is to cade ground and ignite the maelstorm that ends all things. Oh, and then we have, obviously, a new t-shirt. Silver bundle. So this is the new silver bundle. You can buy that now. And that's it. Right, let me have a t quick look. So that's trailer, wallpapers. So we have 4K ones. We have... Looks like what's well, part of a cutscene. Oh, yeah, actually. Keitel was asking for... Um, Eris's like assistance last time in the psyops activity, so it's cool to see that like play out now. Do they have whips? I know, I think they're just tubes. Oh, that's so cool! There's just like a broken callus spot just here, surrounded by like shadow. One, two, three, four. Th this is the fire team that defeated this guy. Like I know, obviously it's just uh, generic shadows, but I think that's a reference to the raid. Then we have that. Trespasser. Oh, there's that set I was talking about. New Eververse set. I love the hammer on that one. We got the Eris Morn uh, Sparrow. Oh, that's the other Sparrow. The, like, bone one. That looks so cool. I'm never taking off my other Sparrow, though. Unless it slows down. Right, we got 4K images, so this could completely destroy my PC. Wait, how do I back out of this? Why won't it back out? Okay, hold on, give me a sec. What the fuck? It, it's stuck. Oh, there we go. That's better. Um. Right, hold on. Give me a sec. I have to do this the awkward way around. Main scene. Boom, bada, pow. Got that image. Can I... Will that open there? Probably not. Ah, uh, you know, it's it's alright anyway. You, you all know what they are anyway. If you want to go view them, you can view them, I think. I'm just having trouble showing them all. Right. Thank you all so much for watching this vtuber list stream. Um, usually I have Jonesy on, but this is like early in the morning. And I thought, like, i get this, like, recorded now before the end of the day. Because I'm not going to have time after, like, uh, I think it's five or six when the next season comes. So, yeah. Thanks again so much for watching the stream, and I hope to see you another time. Hopefully more Destiny 2 content to come. Probably not. I'll probably just still be streaming it. Lol.